Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Rusty Rasmus has officially named his side to take on Wales this weekend with two debuts in the starting lineup as well as two debuts in waiting off the bench. The uncapped Jordan Hendrickson, Edo Panamurva included in the starting 15 with Sasha Feyman, Gomez Zulu and Ben Jason Dixon set to become Springboks themselves off the bench uh, in what is a very interesting side that will be captained by Peter Steph de Toy. It is the Qatar Airways Cup taking place at Twickenham on Saturday. It is the first game of the season for the Springboks, the first game since uh, they were crowned world champions and uh, a very interesting side, very interesting mix of players. Uh, which gives you a bit of an education on sort of the players that the, the coaching staff really rate and uh, I think players who might even be involved come the Island Series. Before we look at it too much and show you the team, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Let's have a look, shall we? As mentioned, Peter Steff de Toy will captain at the side. It is something that uh, Rashi Rasmus almost hinted at and almost sort of uh, almost leaked, almost let slip last week that I think that he was the favorite candidate and uh, even our predicted team yesterday we said that we reckon that he was going to be the captain he will captain the side in that number seven jersey if we look at the uh, front row oxen chair Malcolm Marks Vincent Cox so the two Sharks props uh, in between Malcolm Marks who as expected does make his return from injury starting um, that is because they can manage his minutes for example if he goes down early you've got a Bongi Manambi coming off the bench who's we all know he's got plenty of experience can play a full 80 if needs be and uh, you know they can really manage the minutes of Malcolm Marks going into that island series. In the second row, also, not to me surprised, the Ivan Etzebeth and uh, Franco Mostert are getting starts. Uh, Franco Mostert absolutely immense during those World Cup playoffs. And uh, Etzebeth, who all know, is one of the best, if not the best lock in world rugby. A very exciting loose trio, by the way. Quacker Smith, Peter Steff, Toy, and Evan Ruiz. A lot of pace in and around um, that loose trio. Quacker Smith getting a rare start, but expect to be an absolute menace at the breakdown. Good ball carrier as well. And uh, getting an award for, for for becoming, I think, one of the key Springbok players, really. You know, I think you can talk about, you know, like sort of the seven, eight indispensable players. I genuinely think he's probably part of that these days. Um, especially such was an effect off the bench during the World Cup. Uh, but then look at the back line. Very interesting. Five to Kirk, Will Partner, Jordan Hendrickson, who has skipped ahead of the likes of Siam Masuku. No Mona Leibok, um, but he gets a start. So obviously somebody that the Springbok coaches really do rate. Um, very, very interesting. I think that's the surprise, the shock selection of it. Um, of the team. Uh, the rest of the back line, Max Wilma Pimpi, Edel van der does get a start, and Apple Fassi gets back. He is back in at the side and uh, will start this weekend. I think the first time he'll play at, at full back, I think there's, there's two appearances for Springboks, many coming on the wing. In the center, Andre Esterhazy gets an opportunity to start, and he'll start next to uh, Jesse Creel with Damien Delendi, the man on the bench. If you look at the bench, Bongi Manambi, Intuka Tunu, and France Mohoba, so plenty of experience there uh, to guide the likes of Anatuka Tunu. Um, Salman Murat gets an opportunity, as does Ben Jason Dixon, a player who I've been raving about for the last six months, saying that it's a, it's a case of when, not if, he becomes a Springbok. And uh, very, very keen to see what he can do. Uh, Grant Williams over there. And then Sasha Feinberg, Gomez Zulu, he's been touted to be a Springbok since he ran out for the SA under 20s. He will finally get his chance. Well, finally get his chance. I mean, he's still very, very young. But he will get his chance this weekend, um, covering 10, 12, um, 15, for example, I imagine we'll probably come on at 10, would be my gut feeling of Damon Dale coming on probably to replace Estes, but I suppose you know Stash Fan Bigonzu also might be coming on at 15, so you can kind of see exactly what, what he can do, um, and then you've got Damon Dale as as a, sort of a, 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 in case of emergency type of player, you know, you know exactly what you're going to get from him when he comes off that bench, and it's just absolute world class. So it's an interesting side, I think, you know, again, for me, the biggest surprise is probably that uh, that Jordan Hendricks' shout. Uh, he's not played a lot of rugby for the Lions. He's actually been playing about 12 recently because of the injury to Mario Slow, as well as the former snare number. So whilst he is making that move to the Sharks, hasn't played a lot of rugby. I think a lot of people would have been expecting to see Sia Masuku get an opportunity, and very interesting that that he hasn't. Um, I know that he was sort of the late into the box squad. You know, Jordan Hendricks was in the initial alignment camps and stuff like that, uh, and has very much been on the radar for longer. But in terms of seasons, you can't really say that he's had a better season than Siamasuku because that would just be a lie. So I think that's maybe the only sort of question. What's a question? What an interesting selection if you're going to go with that. But in terms of one that doesn't maybe make entire apparent sense, be very keen to see what Rusty says about that selection and why he's gone with Jordan Hendricks. Um, not Molly Lewak, for example, not a Siamasuku. Because you've got to bat one of those. I mean, you're either going to back sort of Molly Lewak as your number two fly half, or else you want to give Siamasuku a chance. And they've gone the complete opposite and gone with Jordan Hendrickson. Uh, apart from that, I don't think there's too many surprises in this team, even off the bench. Um, it's a nice team. It's a very good team. Very keen to see Emma van der Merwe. 
Um, I think you know he for me is uh, is 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 the really exciting one. I think that has to stand up because of the uh, the injuries that we currently have. Kurt Ice, Ken and Moody potentially Chesley and Colby. I mean, that's three wings out. So big opportunity for him to put his hand up and uh, really make himself. Uh, a, a genuine option for the screen box. Let me know what you think about the team down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.